Hey right guys, Trish Montes Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 5 of Lucifer, season 1. I'm getting a bit more into the show now, um, I feel like they're kind of picking up a bit more of a main story with the kind of romance, or it's kind of very hinted at the romance between the cop and Lucifer, obviously, so. But I want a bit more backstory to these side characters, like Lucifer's brother, I think they mentioned he was, and Maze, I think the name was, I'm not 100% sure on names still. <laughs> I'm always awful with names in shows until like episode 10, so we'll get used to that. Uh, unless it's like Friends, where it's very clear what their names are, because you've heard them ever since you were born, basically. But yeah, I'm excited, episode 5, guys. If you enjoy, remember to leave a like, and if you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you want those uncut and early reactions to Lucifer, amongst other shows, that link to the Patreon page will be down below. But for now, let's do this. <laughs> I thought we were about to cut to a club, but we just got to the city. And now we get to it. Oh no, it's a war way, no man. It's just like an actual guy. Oh, okay. Oh, yo. Fares, fares. I just found my danger. And now he gets to be part of the case again. I can see you now. Splendid, splendid. We've so much to discuss. Such a little troll. We're, our main character in this show is a troll. Like, it will be so, an insert troll, sir. So. Yeah. It's been very helpful to Detective Decker in her last couple of cases, but... Last couple? Well, last four? <laughs> Olivia, I can explain. Well, you better explain why you have been keeping such a valuable resource all to yourself. Is he actually going to be part of the crew? Excuse me? We have someone who can make Benny Choi talk. Someone with charm, likability. And has real yeah. ties to the community. I'll accept that. To act as a liaison in the Pella Cortez case. Of course he has. <laughs> Every episode. Just think, you and me, close proximity at all times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's gonna love that. I call the shots. You most certainly do, right in the leg. <laughs> wow. You, you actually might be the devil. I was flashy I found out five episodes in, I thought she would have. Maybe it'll be like a finale of season one thing. Because he's not trying to hide it. <laughs> it's like, okay. How's that? Bloody hell, that hurt. Do it again. Of course. So, you're friends with Benny Troy and his blinged out pet pig. Oh yeah, my sure. god. <laughs> his name is Pig Diddy. Oh, someone love his mummy. <laughs> Even if I did know I can't talk, I'm an artist. I process treasure. Oh, yeah, thank you god. Sort of man of the people. You know, I wore colors back in the day. Man Asian of the wars, people. I was low level. You know, You're walking a pig. Out before the cops even knew my name. Them Latin kings about to raise hell. My speciality. <laughs> I love his little inside jokes that only he understands and no one else. I'd love to continue the debate on our opposing views of police work, so how about we hit the cock bar and get dangerous with some bottom shelf? I've always had the cock bar for half a second, but never mind. Besides, you know, I need something to dull the pain. Do all the pain? How long has it been? Shut up about the leg. I was just using it against it, to be fair. They have a good dynamic, to be fair. I like it. It gets better every year. It's Italian war. I'm touch it. I know you want to. <laughs> Great. Well, people come to me to ask for favours, and more often than not, I'm happy to oblige. Will you get? Well, so everyone owes him a favour, basically, because of like deal with the devil. That's such a hack. Who would take a deal like that? Someone's coming behind him. Yep. Oh, I recognise him. I recognise him. What's he from? I'm searching it now because I forget. I've still got it in the background. So you're a snitch. A snitch. Damn. He's in Riverdale. It's Hal Cooper. That is dad. Still, no excuse for that man's rudeness. No, no, no. God smack him. I think you're a complete sack of ass. I mean, fair. Fair. <laughs> I love him. I'll, that'll be every reaction, by the way, me repeating that I love Lucifer. And I kind of love her. She's only had like four scenes, but it's just sick. And I kind of like this guy as well. He's just suave, and he's from 24, and he's suave. Batman? Hello? Oh, it's Wayne Palmer. Well, I'm Linda. Uh, Dr. Martin. Right, they're just gonna smile at each other. Maybe even mortal. Mortal? You exist to protect me. To know where I am and who I'm with at all times. Well, she's doing a terrible job. I need more of her courage to see. Pretty sure your name's not on the list. This guy, however, is not cool. So, shall we get of him? Feeling charitable, I let it slide this time. <laughs> because I don't do favors for guys like you. What the best character in the show? Oh, What's his name? Paul Hart. Chloe is the mother of my child. So. 
imbecile. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Take care of her. So, I see his point. So. He's just trying to like protect her, but I'm sorry. I, I lost all interest in him when he was like, "I'm so disappointed in you, Chloe." Like he was her dad. What do you mean? You spoke to Dan? Hmm. Dan. He dropped by Lux. I've never guessed Dan. <laughs> what is it with the men in my life? I'm a man in your life. <laughs> I mean, technically, yeah, you've been around with 24/7. Oh my god. Wrecked. Wrecked. Don't know why I wouldn't want him as backup though, but okay. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? What are they screaming at? What just happened? Oh, they, was, they saw someone else. Oh, wait, what? The hell did you get out of the car? Child's play. And good thing I did. There was immediate danger. <laughs> okay. I should sue that pervert. You have my blessing, but first... Why has she got a gunpoint? Yes, oh, my God. Yes, you him as target practice the other night. You wanted a pair of Benny Sweet Kicks. Well, enough to pay for them with power. <laughs> you wanted a pair of Benny Sweet Kicks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Help us get justice for Paola. I love how she just bought that with his fake-ass tears. <laughs> anyway. If anyone have beef with Benny Choi... So Viper's beef killed your cousin then, eh? <laughs> Surely you should take them in for questioning? No, if this was Jack Bauer, he wouldn't buy that shit at all. Oh, it's a dog. This is the murder? Oh no, it's the, pi it's the pig. Got by the other pig. I thought they were glasses of milk, but they're candles. Well, finally some real action. I'm more than ready to face the danger of the notorious yellow Viper. Yeah, this yellow viper there would be good. <laughs> uh, hello there, neighbor. <laughs> He's always just so quiet and chilled out. To grab a drink. Good, so it's settled then. You share with me, I share with you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you, you're not allowed to do that, no? Yeah. Okay. Tagging means nothing if it doesn't come from right here. Right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you don't need for speed. Um. Um Come on, turn around. Told you. you walk away Absolute now, bullshit. Please, I promise, we're dealing with this. You and your per partner want to get caught in the crossfire cop? Be my guest. Yeah, there's a load of innocent kids behind the guys, so what are you gonna do? <laughs> Mate, you standing like that ain't gonna save them. Right. Completely understand your desire to make money. Mate, you can actually die. Difference. If they shoot him in the head, would he be gone? Alright, let's finish this. And, and those trousers, I mean you wear them so <laughs> low that Exposed to other naughty men, and we all know what kind of danger that can bring, don't like we? Like, no one in the gang would notice them all sneaking off. Where'd he go? Oh dear. Are you all. No, oh my god. I'll kill you first. <laughs> oh. How did that happen? Wait, what the fuck? Is this Batman? Oh, me. Oh, 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 okay. Rex. Oh my god. Yo! Wow, first. So if one for me, so one will be dead. Care to tell me <laughs> Got the bad guy. Yeah. Looks like. Nah, she don't buy it. She don't buy it. And how long we got? We've still got ten minutes. It's like you have some kind of god complex. I most certainly do not. Uh, you hate that. What? <laughs> Stop staring. Mr. Viper. Mr. Viper. Viper. I'm all about authenticity. Sure. Except for the lying. Uh, you failed to inform me that wait, did he do it himself? I had no control over that. Uh, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> Planned a simple frame job, parole violation that would send Viper back to prison. Wow, it was him all along. How could I have pointed a gun at myself? Because you your didn't pull the trigger. Your bodyguard did it. I saw your marine tattoo yep. when I met you, Hector. Oh yeah. I'm wearing crosshairs. Sniper. Yeah, I like that. No bare details. Oh man. Hey. Benny made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't I'm say. I'm now it. an official civilian consultant for the LAPD. <laughs> okay then. She's yeah. like GGS. GGS. Actually, no, I may have no idea. I only took five apps, but he's a partner. There we go. I was say the whole him just happened to be so in the crime scene would have gone so tedious after, after the next step. Yo, they are so gonna hook up soon. I can't wait. Oh my god. Wow. Detective. Detective. <laughs> I even played. 
You've been played big time. I think that's the problem with trying to remember her name is he always just calls her detective, so I know it's Chloe. Chloe. Oh maze, 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 let's chill. She hates her. She could just kill her now if she wants. Oh! Oh! Mad! Okay, but how does she disappear? Does she have teleportation jitsu? I don't... Okay, there we go guys. That is episode 5 of Lucifer Season 1. I enjoyed that one. I think that was one of the better episodes of the season so far. We had an 8, a 6, a 6, and 8. Episode 4 was really good as well, to be fair. So, the last episode, this one, and episode 1 are all the best uh, so far. I enjoyed the case of this one a lot. That was a little twist that he kind of set up the whole... To be fair, there's always a little twist in the cases. You kind of need them to be instead of it just being so obvious or it gets a little bit kind of boring if they just did that. But the fact that the guy set up the shooting to get rid of a competition, basically. But having Lucifer and Chloe, their dynamic working as cop buddies, it just gets better as the episodes go along. Um, and we got a lot more of Maze this episode, which I really wanted, and I'm glad we did. Her just, like, taking down... 10 thugs basically it was just badass she might be my favorite apart from lucifer obviously she's probably my favorite character um i do really like chloe as well and wayne palmer's character i, I don't know the name of but i'm just gonna call him wayne palmer for now he seems okay i think i still need a bit more with him as well and the therapist i think i need a bit more with to really start to like her character but they all have potential there's not one character in this that i dislike apart from maybe Dan, even him, I don't even hate him. I just he's the weakest out of the lot. I just don't really care for him at all. But the others all have potential for sure. Uh, so yeah, it's another episodic, for, as like the rest of the episodes have been, and I'm assuming the rest of the show is going to be an episodic show. But I feel like the last couple, if anything, have built on the bond between Chloe and Lucifer really well. So as long as it's doing that, I'm fine with it. I'll continue to just accept that it's an episodic show. And I didn't know it was going into it, so I think that was why I was a bit surprised by like episodes two and three. I was a bit like, oh, it's an episodic show, dang, because I, I don't really like them, as you guys know. But the last couple have been a lot better than episodes two and three, for sure. I wouldn't say it was an eight. I think the last episode and episode one are still a little bit better. But I did prefer the case in this one, I think. The case in this one was really good. But story-wise, I think the last episode did a better job. I'm going to go I'll go 7.7 out of 10. I think it was a solid episode. Not quite great, but they've all been entertaining and... Uh, I'm excited to see where it goes for sure. So, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget the episode down below in the comments. And if you want the uncuts, early reactions, a link to the Patreon page will be down below. And I'll see you next time for episode six. Until then.